Welcome back to another session. In this session, we are going to discuss how do we measure force. So in the previous session, we saw that force is, force is an agent of change, isn't it? So we discussed this. Force is equal to an agent of change. And what are we saying is changing? So we are saying the inertia, the state of inertia is changing. So uh, state of inertia of rest, motion, direction or shape, anything can change and force is the cause. So hence, if you see this force is a cause and cause is leading to some effect. What is this effect? This effect you will learn a little later is acceleration. Okay, so acceleration is what results once force starts acting on an object. Later on, we'll see that this force has some qualification. That is, it has to be unbalanced and all that. But for the time being, please understand that if uh, some unbalanced force, what is unbalanced force? We'll discuss a little later. Just have some patience. So if there is an unbalanced force acting on an object, it will lead to its acceleration. And this is what manifests, right? So this is what we can see. So we can see that this is the manifest manifestation manifestation that is display of effect of force manifestation of effect of force manifestation means it it you know this is how we get to know that force is being applied so manifestation of effect of force so if you can measure acceleration then you can measure force as well so this is how we measure force and how do we define uh, force and what is the unit of force so unit of force is given or uh, has been you know uh, the unit of force is newton right so hence we say unit of force unit of force now unit of force whenever we say unit of force we do mean si unit that the standard international standard unit right so unit of force is newton and it is written as n e w t u n obviously named after sir isaac newton and uh, in short form it is written as capital n okay so hence unit of force is newton so you know that uh, whenever we have any scientist's name after any unit we start the unit with small letter so you can see that the letter n is small but while we are writing the shorthand abbreviated form we will write capital n so this is unit of force now how do we define one newton so for that let us say we have an object of 1 kg. Okay, so here is one object of 1 kg. Let me redraw it so that, okay, so hence, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw this. So let us say we have an object of 1 kg. 1 kg, this is 1 kg mass. So all of you know, kg is the unit of mass. So let us say we have 1 kg mass and we are applying some force onto this. 1 kg mass and let it be f okay now if the if the effect is if the acceleration acceleration produced so if you if you see if you measure the acceleration produced in this case if it happens to be one meter per second square so what is acceleration we had studied in previous chapter so if the acceleration produced on this 1 kg mass is one meter per second square then we say that this f is nothing but one newton force once again so if you have an object which is one kg you can see this is one kg object and you are applying a force which is something which we don't know right now let's say and the effect so this is the effect guys so the effect of application of that one uh on uh, that force is the acceleration of one one meter per second square on what mass one kg mass then we say that force is 1 newton so how do we define so we can define 1 newton like this so let's define 1 newton so 1 newton is the force which when which when applied which when applied applied on a 1 kg mass one kg mass object 
produces 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 an acceleration an acceleration of 1 meter per second square right this is what is the definition of 1 newton force so now we have defined the unit of force now this thing which we have defined this definition the basis of defini definition is newton's second law of motion newton's second law but we are going to discuss this little later right but uh, since we have to define a unit of force so i have given you this definition now uh, once we deal with newton's second law of motion you will understand how and why this definition came into being